The marine organism we're going to identify now is the balloon fish. Balloon fish are medium-sized members of the pufferfish family of fish. They range in size from 8 to 14 inches, with a maximum size of about 20 inches. Most I have seen tend to be toward the smaller end of that size scale. They can be easily identified by their spine-covered body, a dark band that runs across the top of their head between their eyes, and the yellow irises of their eyes. They can be found in most areas of the Bahamas and Caribbean, but the frequency varies by specific island location. Balloon fish are relatively poor swimmers, so they rely on camouflage and two defense mechanisms to protect themselves from predation. One of their defense mechanisms are their spines, which are normally flat against their body, but can be raised to make them a spiky ball that would be unpleasant to bite onto. The other defense mechanism is their ability to inflate their bodies with water or air to greatly increase their body size. Add to that the spines, when puffed up, they look like a spiky ball, not an easy morsel for any predator to eat. Balloon fish feed primarily on crustaceans and mollusks. Their teeth have evolved into two fused crushing plates, one on the top and one on the bottom. They are ideally suited to breaking shells to get into the delicate morsels that are found inside. Balloon fish are open water breeders. A male will identify a female mate and will force the female toward the surface of the water. As they approach the surface, the female releases her eggs and the male releases his sperm. Fertilized eggs float until they mature and hatch in about four days. That's the balloon fish.